The following video is how to open up Image Pro Insight, which I'll do now by double left clicking on the icon, and to process and measure scale images and save the data to Excel with overlays. So we're now in the primary window for Insight. I'm going to close these windows that opened up, and now I'm going to open up a scale image. Um, these are ones that I've saved. You may have some as well. The image, if it looks a little bit dark, if you go to adjust, you can lighten the image a little bit more so you can enhance it. I'm going to go back to the capture. Now, we're going to have a bunch of calibrations saved based on the zoom setting and the front lens. They'll be in a pull down menu here. So let's say this is what we were set when we captured the image of the scale. If I click on this, it has now applied the image to the, the calibration to the scale. So if I right click on it and go to information, it will show me right here that the spatial calibration has been applied. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to measure. So we want to get what's called a line profile. So I click on the line profile image. It brings up an initial line. I'm going to delete that. I'm then going to Make sure this is highlighted, and I'm going to draw from this point to the outside a basically a line, and you can vary these. And once this line is created, you can move it around and adjust it and grab an end. The color, if you click on this and go to color, let's say I want to make that yellow, so it makes it yellow. You can also put the label, the label that's right here, can be done here. So let's call it COD2345. And there it is. Now, I want to make manual measurements. So if I click on, and we're going to go from origin to peaks. This is the origin. I'm going to click on this. And if I put my cross, I can start creating marks on the scale. If I made a mistake, if I hit shift, and go back to the image, I can remove it. So I'm going to just create a few of these on here. So if you'll notice, they appear in the graph here. But also, if you click on the measurement values, they're listed here. These are the distances from the origin and whatever units we had. And this is the distance between the spacing. This is between number 1 and 2. This is between number 3 and 4. So now I have these data. I want to export this data to Excel. So if I click on this button here, it's going to, let's click on this. It should export to Excel. Let's see. The other way I could do this, if I right click and I can go to Excel, it's now going to put the data here. I'm going to expand these and just highlight these and change the label. I'm going to reduce Excel. I'm not going to close out. Last task, I want to save this image with the overlays. So if I go to Share and I go to View, I'm going to put this in a folder. Let's just call this, um, see, uh, let's call it COD2345. And I'm going to put it on the desktop. And I'm going to say Save. Now if I open up Excel again, I'm going to insert a picture from the desktop and it's cod is right there so there's the image I'm going to shrink this down a little bit and now I have the image I have my data and I can go here and I can save this in whatever format you want that's basically how it's done in image pro insight for scale analysis I'm going to stop my video now